Hello, hello, hello everyone, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to episode 9.5. Well, this is just sort of like a bonus one hour mining session and cleaning up the base in between episode 9, when we managed to get our lecture, and episode 10, where we will be building our lovely XP farm in the end, which is with the Enderman. So now, let's get, well, today's plan is just to pretty much do a lovely one hour mining session. That's my plan, and as you see in my inventory, got stuff all sorted out. Oh, I've got some rockets that need to be put away. But then I've created a lovely box here, so I've got my firework box. Chuck those back in there. And I've got a toolbox, and I've got all these boxes that I'm going to slowly fill up over time and just get my lunch and fly back. As long as I have the right pick, we should be fine. So that's what we're going to be doing today, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, and you may notice during the video... Well, when I start doing it, I'll do a bit of music and then maybe a bit of talking over the next hour of mining. But you may notice that my voice gets a bit louder because I'll be using a different recording software, just using a normal voice recorder. But yeah, I'll explain all that there when we get right into the time lapse. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys at the end of it. We do a little bit of work on the base, cleaning it up in it there. See you then. Hello everyone, how's it going? For today in this Tom Lesson video, I'm just going to talk to you about, well, this series. This series so far has been going great. Well, I've been enjoying doing it and seeing how we're going along. All the progress I've done, the new farms I've been doing, and I can't wait to start work on the lovely Enderman farm. But to start off things, I know the recording has been different because I haven't had the correct recording software and my voice has been quite quiet because I've been using a different recording software and, yeah, it just doesn't want to work. As well, compared to what I used to use, because I used to use OBS, but now for some reason it's stopped working, and I don't know, I can't really figure out any more new recording software on that for this here so far. But yeah, so far this, so far the mine, mining, as you can see on screen, that has been going very good, and we get a huge lot of gravel in that there, but I've got some good plans for the future of this video, or this series, which I plan to continue throughout the start of 2019, when I have the time in the evenings to do so. But I will continue trying to do these series eventually. Well, I will try to continue to keep up my Minecraft series or my YouTubing series after work and that there when I'm working next year. Because, yeah, it's just a good little hobby to go ahead and do something. And, yeah, my aim is to try and get a few more of you guys to come out there and start watching these videos. Because at the moment they're not really that appealing. I'm still learning on how to edit things together, adding sound and that over top, making it sound a little bit more smoother. A little bit more nicer together trying to compact down this was actually four and a half hours worth of footage that I've done so far but yeah this is what I'm doing so far and I think I'm slowly improving on things but yeah I expect to see a lot more videos on servers as well such as Kite MC which is going to be opening up very shortly so anyway let's let's stop listening to me talking and rambling on and I'm sounding quite weird with my S's and that at the moment and let's pop back onto the episode that we're doing right now. That was a good little time limit sort of thing there, wasn't it? I've been mining just over for about an hour, hour and a half, really. So this is what I've got so far. Got a little bit of lapis, quite a few diamonds, which is awesome. Quite a lot of coal, bit of, iron, bit of, bit of gold, redstone, a lot of iron, quite a bit of stone, and just random bits and pieces. So this here should last, in theory, quite a long time. So I'm going to leave this so I can literally... Oh yeah, I'm just going to pretty much leave it. And yeah, I want to come back underneath the ground for a while. But since I am here, I'm going to put that there. That can go in there. That can go back. Since I am here, I might as well get a whole lot of gravel. Because you need a whole lot of gravel for, let's just say, the concrete. That uses a lot of gravel now. So I thought I'd go ahead and I would grab a whole lot of this gravel here and yeah, I'll be back again. Well, yeah, as soon as i got all this gravel, I'm going to start flying back to the base. So let's put this back into another time lapse and this time it's just going to be like very, very quick. See you at the end. Holy shoot! <laughs> oh, 
That was very close. Imagine if I just killed myself then. That would have been a little bit of trouble. I thought I was getting up high enough to avoid mountains. That's what I was doing. Jeez. That gave me a fright. Let's just get up so we're like not loading the game anymore. And let's get back to our base. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now back at our base. And I'm going to go ahead and get some of the, all the iron and gold smelted up. And I'll be right back with you guys in a tick. Okay, now that we're back at the base, I'm just going to quickly pop into bed. And then when I get up, I need to go, well, I thought I need to go get some supplies. All my stuff has been smelted up nice and beautifully. And I've emptied out all these boxes here. I'm just going to get my elytra now. And I think I'm going to go for a fly back to the gravel biome. And I want to fill up at least three chests of these here. Or three shulker boxes. And fill up the rest of this here of sand once I find a desert biome. That's because I've now got uh, two unbreaking five shovels, which was amazing. Because I've got all my bits smelting up here, bits smelting up. And I really need to get some glass because of my project I am now currently working on. And that is a lovely storage system that is going to be going along here. So the item is going to come along this way here, loop around, and they're going to come down into a big mass storage system. So there'll be two, che two chests for just, say, gunpowder, and then rod and flesh, and they'll be all stacked right up to the top. That's how I'm going to do. So I'm going to fly back over to that gravel biome, or f see if I can find ourselves another lovely sand bow. I'll be back once I get over there. Okay, we're now back at the Griffin Mountain. I think it's time for another speed up time lapse because today's episode is pretty much just going to be a whole lot of speed up time lapses. I'll talk to you again in this time lapse. Well, we're second talking time lapse. Well, right now I'm going to talk to you about how the base is looking. So far, it's just a random island in the middle of nowhere with a little island surrounding it, but that's not really that good. I love the seed that we've got so far. It's, it's, it's an amazing seed, how wide and spread out the oceans are, and how close we've got two ocean monuments out there. But for the base plan, I'm planning to build it. It's like a giant circle or oval or diamond around the outside of my island, and like try and like blend it down as like a whatever you call it, terraforming the island, because so far we've got the lovely island iron farm on one side with the kelp, and then we've also got our massive giant mob farm, that's what it's called, which is amazing, and then I want, I want to have a plan in the future to have a giant tr villager trading hall down the side, mainly of clerks, I think they're called purple coats, so we can trade all the lovely rotten flesh in that with them. But yeah, that's my plan for the island, and yeah, that's what I thought I'd just tell you guys about in the second time lapse, and yeah. Especially with all this, but yeah, yeah, that was a bit of ramble, sorry about that. So what I'm doing right now is getting a whole lot of gravel and a whole lot of sand because I really want to try and get enough supplies to start making concrete because it's a really good, good supply. And when I do jump ahead and find where the desert is, where I'm going to show you guys shortly in a clip, I make a nether portal and I lose it pretty much straight away because I, to what I know, I forgot that where the end portal was actually below a desert. So yeah, now I'm linked up to fit there and put a a lovely water elevator up top so we can get up and down. So yeah, that's just a quick update there. And let's pop back onto this lovely episode and see what else I've got to do. We spotted a lovely witch out. We can see a witch in here. And let's kill her. And actually, we'll let's see if she'll give us anything anyway. And poisonous bow, you silly witch. So this witch out here, I might just save its coordinates and then... What, what, what's happening? Oh my god. Then I might one day come back... How long are you poisoning me for? I might one day come back and we could build a witch farm, maybe. Let's just go function F2 and save a screenshot. Okay, let's get back to... Okay, people, I have located a lovely, it's actually a massive desert out here, quite a fair way away from home. And also there was a lovely temple just there as well, which I've raided and got a little couple ingots. And that was that, and two gold nibbles. And yeah, there's a village just over here and a village just over here. But I don't really need to properly set up a place so I can get it a lot more quicker. And by doing that, I may get myself some lovely obsidian. It's probably lava straight on that. Nope, not nope, Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get some obsidian and fill up those couple chests and I'll be back at my base very shortly. Okay everyone, we are now back at the base and now I have tidied up this little bit of area here. But I've done a huge amount of work 
since since I last seen you when I was in the desert. And I've now completed our lovely item sorter. Or oh, I actually helped improve it. Just got one last one to configure right here. Chuck one in here. And just going to chuck a whole lot of kite and MC going across there. So all of this here is now sorted. We're going to get rid of this here. So this chest is now deactivated. So I might use anything important in there. I'll take that, that, that. The rest of it I could pretty much just leave to despawn really. But I'll just pop up in here. So up in here, I, as you may notice, there's now a hopper stream going around. So I've removed the water stream because it's creating too much like little lag and that around the base. So I'm going to expand the storage out here eventually. But this is where I'm going to be going through and all our items are going to be chucked down. So what I need to do now is just pretty much complete the system by going in around the back here. So it's pretty much already completed. Just simply go here and go one two and the system should now in theory be activated i know rocket fireworks do not have it for space so i'll let them go through and i'm just going to go ahead and what i'm pretty much going to do is i'm pretty much going to go around and tidy up the entire base by just pretty much going through destroying chests and just chucking pretty much everything and i do not want to chuck any item places because it will wreck the entire system so that there should make the entire base look pretty good and if we pop around over here we should see our lovely pieces of rockets coming through. Well, in theory, they should come through anyway. It might have stacked a little bit for the pass round. If I've connected everything up correctly. Let's give it a couple moments. While they come round, I'm just going to show you, I'm going to tidy up this area, give it make it look, look a little more nice and eventually expand out the area around here. Those should come should have come through by now. So that goes into there, doesn't it? Oh yeah, I just noticed that I'm going then, didn't I? Oh the red sign's powering it now, so they were through. Okay. Um I might because I want these to come through as much as possible. Oops. Did I break that system there? <laughs> Hopefully not too much. Okay, so I'm just going to chuck in a couple weirdly placed chests going around here. Just so I've got at least some backup system if it overflows in that there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go around and tidy up the base. And yeah, well that's really it for this episode. Oh, that, that, that was weird. But yeah, next episode we're going to be building our lovely XP farm in the end. Our lovely end farm. Oh yeah, just a little heads up. We have got over a stack of diamond ore. I don't think I've got any more in here. But yeah, I said to get a fortune 3 pick and then that will be it. So, oh, let, let's actually... Oops, let's go into this mode here, eh? While the sun sets in our distance behind us, I am just going to end off this episode here and say I hope all of you guys have had a very merry Christmas yesterday and I will see you all in the new year. Hope you guys all have a good New Year's Eve and a good end to the year of 2018. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in the year of 2019. Hope you guys have a happy new year and I will see you guys, well, in 2019. See you all then. Thanks for watching.